Welcome back. This is week five. But before we start week five's topic, let's look at week four's answers. I've broken it down quite easy for you. Exercise A. There were six things for exercise A. Uh, have a look. Here's your answers. And exercise B. Here are your answers for exercise B. Now let's look at this week's topic. This week's topic is drawing conclusions. Very similar to making inferences. So making inference, just to show the difference between making an inference and drawing conclusions, is the process of figuring out missing information that is included. To infer is a thinking process of reading between the lines. We can use pictures and text clues to infer, and inferences are more situational. Conclusions are the judgments or decisions reached based on information learned. It requires reasoning or deep thinking and observation skills. Drawing conclusions is deeper than an inference. In fact, making inferences helps us to draw conclusions. So drawing conclusions is using information that is implied or inferred to make meaning out of what is not clearly stated. Writers give readers hints or clues that help them read between the lines. Since not everything is explicitly stated or spelled out all the time. So in order to effectively draw conclusions, this is what we need. Consider what they already know from their own experience. So you use your own personal experience. Plus, add your personal experience to the information that the author has given you. So in other words, the information or facts that the author gives plus your personal experience. You put the two together and then you can come up with an answer or solution. So look at the quick one. Quick example one. It's common knowledge that animals out in the wild usually run or fly away if a human walks up to them. So when reading Snow White and the Seven Dwarves to some beginning readers, you could pause after reading that. All of the animals flocked to Snow White, sighed as she sang to them. It can be concluded, basically from the text, that Snow White is probably an animal lover. If they flock, means they come to her. She could be kind to them, and they like her, and they're kind to her. So because she's an animal lover, very nice, pleasant person, the animals flock or come to her. Have a look at this. Few schools curriculum include a unit on how to deal with bereavement and grief. And yet all students at some point in their lives suffer from losses through death and parting. So what topic would probably not be included in a unit on bereavement? Bereavement is talking about death. So which one of the answers do you think? How to write a letter of condolence? How to write a letter to say sorry? What emotional stages are passed through in the healing process? Meaning how you heal after you lose someone, how to give support to a grieving friend, someone that's sad, and how you support that person, or what the leading causes of the death are. So what causes them to die? So actually, the answer should be D, not included. We don't really want to know what caused the death. We want to know how to deal with after-death experience. So D is not important. See if you can choose this. Choose the best answer based on the information given. So take a look at number one and look at the four possible answers. Also, in red, important, in which area would a bike race probably be slowest? So that's what we need to answer. Have a look at the text and see if you can choose A, B, C or D. I'll give you the answer shortly. Have a look at one, two. Actually, there's a few of them. So write as we go along, as I turn over the page. Make sure you have an answer for one and two first as I turn over the page. Have a look at two. This is asking, 
what is the most likely reason an owner of a valuable painting might want to exhibit a copy instead of the original. So why would someone want to show a copy of the original painting in an exhibition? So have a, have a try and note down your answers. This is just practice. So note down one, two, and your answer for each one. Pause it if you want. I'm going to move on to the next page. Okay, it's three and four. Have a look. Remember in red, in which of the following places would these German shepherds most likely be used? German shepherd is a breed of dog. Okay, so which one would it be used? And this one, which of the following activities would probably not be seen in Steiner School? Not be seen. So which one would not be seen? So have a look at the text. Choose an answer. Number five, in what way could this bacteria be useful? What way could this bac bacteria be useful? Choose an answer. Okay, let's take a look. So the answers are here for you. The first one, A would be the correct answer. Why? It says along the coast would be at sea level where the races must be slower if racing is faster at high altitudes. So A should be the correct answer. Number two, B. An owner could hang a copy of a valuable painting so that in case of a theft, the real painting would not be taken. So B would be the most suitable answer. D is the most suitable answer. A law enforcement official would always be on the lookout for possible smuggling of drugs into a country and might therefore use such a trained dog. So D would be the best answer there. Look at number four, C. A contest suggests a competition and this kind of activity is discouraged in a Steiner school. So C is the correct answer. And A is the correct answer for number five. If the bacteria can destroy the cyanide, a toxic waste dumped into rivers, then the bacteria can save the water life by getting rid of this poison. So A is the correct answer for this one. Let's move on. Have a look at the vocabulary. So here, rumors, rumors, cravings, cravings, distract, distract, clasps, clasps, Azure, azure, thunderbolt, thunderbolt, hurdle, hurdle, groaned, groaned, tackled, tackled, wanderer, wanderer, prowl, prowl, weary, weary, desperate, Desperate, cynical, cynical, submergence, submergence, dormant, dormant. Don't forget the CE sound is like an S, so submergence, very stressed at the end. Variations, variations, parched, parched, conventional conventional, delegates, delegates, transmitted, transmitted, recited, recited, monasteries, monasteries, secular, secular. Okay, these are your exercises that you need to do at home. So once again in your notebook, see if you can complete the exercises at home. So exercise A, read the text, and then what can you conclude? Make a choice from the multiple choice answers, A, B, C, or D. So have a look, number one, number two, the same again. Number three, same again, multiple choice. Number four, multiple choice. 
Number five, multiple choice again. Number six, uh, just a small poem, multiple choice answer. Exercise B, again multiple choice, but for this, for each text, there are more than one answer. So we have more than one to answer. So here, the first one for A, exercise B, part A, there are one, two, three, four, five. Five multiple choice answers are required. B, also more than one, there are five multiple choice answers required for part B. First one here, on the next page, you can see two, three, four, five. Answer them in your notebooks. And the last one, Read it carefully and then answer. There are only four for this answer, four questions to answer here. So make sure you answer them all in your notebook. And that's the end of this week's lesson. See you again next week. Make sure you wash your hands, take care. Also, wear your mask. Make sure you're safe. See you soon.